Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about the brand new 75 plus player pick upgrade pack, Repeatable SBC, that was released yesterday and how it is actually making prices drop on the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team market because of how hyped and how actually insane this SBC is. It is giving out insane players for a very cheap cost. So I wanna talk about that SBC, how it's making the market move, and also what to expect today on Tuesday as we head into what could be a massive day of Champions League related content because of the UCL rare and non-rare cards that could be released onto the market today as well as our first installment of the year of UEFA Marquee Matchup. So we're going to talk about all of that today on this video. If you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you are new. But let's talk about this SBC. We were expecting upgrade packs yesterday on Monday, right? And they gave us our first ever player pick upgrade pack. Now, if you guys remember, of course, FIBA 21 was the year of the player pick. That is when they rose to stardom and rose to popularity. And it looks like they're back again this year in FIBA 22. This player pick SPC at face value does not look that good. 75 plus, one of two rare gold players. But I'm telling you, most times you're opening these, you're getting at least a player that is 80, 81, 82, a lot of 83s a lot of 84s. Build yourself a set of 10. It'll cost you about 20 to 30K and see what you get, right? You get one walkout or you get one road to the knockouts card in form or maybe again, a higher rated player and you're easily making your money back on the value of the card from this SBC. If you guys did not watch the upload from earlier yesterday, I'll link it right above right here. We packed Ronaldo, not once, but twice for two viewers in the Twitch live stream. That link is down below in the description if you want to get involved with that streaming every day on Twitch. But these are actually sneaky good. They're sneaky good if you want a chance at packing a high-rated player and just trying to fill your club with fodder at the same time if you've got some non-rares and a couple rares golds in your club available. So the reason that that SBC moved the market is because it is just good. It's just sincerely that good on this game. Now, I want to show you how this moved the market. Take a look at some of these, you know, high mid to low tier, like the low to mid tier basically of cards yesterday is what was affected the most by this SBC. Take a look at this Bruno Fernandez. He had one of the bigger drops yesterday. He was 89,000 coins pre-content. Now with this SBC being released, I think what you had is you had a lot of people actually selling some cards from their team after seeing how overpowered this player pick pack was. They sold some cards from their team to go fund their player pick addiction on this game to go open up some player picks and that dropped some prices on this game. When I was looking at prices on these gold cards live on stream, I saw a lot of cards listed up with chemistry styles and a lot of cards that had games played. They weren't first owner fresh items that had come in from supply because there really wasn't any tradable supply yesterday except for preview packs, which supplies the market a little bit. But a 10K drop on this uh, Bruno Fernandez card, there's more going on than just some preview packs from the daily 7.5K that everybody gets to open. So that is what happened yesterday on this game. Possibly you could say part of the market drop was due to people actually packing the card that they had in their club tradable then going and selling the tradable item or packing it untradable, then selling the tradable item. I think that probably happened in some cases, but I think also what you had is just a lot of people putting some coins into this player pick upgrade SBC, trying to pack some of these road to the knockout players and informs and just high rated golds that it was giving out, right? It was giving out a lot of really good cards. You look across most of the game. I mean, Bruno is down, Pogba down, De Bruyne 140K, that is down as well. He was one of those cards that dropped off a decent amount yesterday. Started the day around 150, peaked 152, 153, and it was now down at 140 flat just a bit ago. So that's like a 10 to 12K drop on that De Bruyne card. You see this on a lot of, again, the low to mid-tier market Rashford 82K. That is down. Now, some of your high-tier cards like Mbappe, Conte, those just kind of kept going up. They weren't affected as much. Uh, but some of the mid to low tier, you saw people selling some cards to go out and build these player pick packs. Now, one thing that these player pick packs are also doing right now is it's supplying a lot of people's clubs with fodder, with fodder, right? Now, we do have some SBCs that are upcoming potentially with more Road to the Final cards, Road to the Knockouts, excuse me, with a week two looking like it's very possible this Friday and maybe some more Player of the Month SBCs like for League One coming out pretty soon as well. 
I think what you're going to see is probably like the 82 to 84 range is probably going to have even a slower rise in price because so many people are going to have those in their clubs right now. What you're going to continue to see though is the higher rated cards. 87s, 88s are up in price in terms of SBC fodder because SBCs like Benzema and like Fakir um, are still pretty high. You can see this cruise went from 14K on Saturday, now up to 20,000 coins. As a lot of people are getting these higher rated, like an 86 squad right now, people are completing that with throwing in one or two 88s. Then they're throwing in like a couple 84s and 85s to get that rating up to an 86 because that's the cheapest way to build some of those higher rated SBCs at the moment, right? So you're basically, EA is supplying a lot of people's clubs with fodder. They're depleting people's clubs from gold rares and gold non-rares. And what are they going to do today? They are looking to release most likely what I would assume to be the first set of UEFA marquee matchups onto this game. Now, if you re remember what UEFA marquee matchups is, it is basically the regular marquee matchups just themed around the games that are happening on that day. It usually comes out on the Tuesday. It usually comes out on Tuesday and it features a game from the Tuesday Champions League um, match day and then the Wednesday slate of games for that same match day. So what we're expecting today if we look back to last year in FIFA 21, is a UEFA marquee matchups that will look a lot like this, right? You'll see UEFA marquee matchups. It'll have a group reward. Usually they're pretty cheap. You look through a lot of these that were released last year, 18,000 coins, 20K, 12K, 20,000 coins. But one thing that's very interesting today is, and this, is, this comment right here actually says it perfectly. If you look inside these squads, if you look inside what these squads are, are gonna require, that last year when they dropped UEFA marquee matchups, day one, they also dropped the UCL rare and non-rare cards onto the market at the same time. So these cards had zero supply and they already have demand. They were getting supplied and demand at the same time. It was a very interesting mix for people that wanted to do UEFA marquee matchups. They had to go buy these um, UCL rare and common players to complete these two S these SPCs. Uh, before they were even really supplied on the market. Now, I honestly think that's probably going to happen again today if we do get this sort of content. But with this content coming today on Tuesday, what are we going to see movement-wise on this market? If we're getting these UCL rare cards like we expect today, and we talked about, about it a little bit yesterday too, for a lot of these cards that had little drop-offs yesterday, right? Like we looked at Dembele, he was down a couple thousand coins. We're looking at like Pogba and, you know, maybe Raheem Sterling would be another example of a card that dropped off just a couple thousand coins yesterday, right? From 40K down to 37, where he kind of is right now. Maybe, you know, just a couple thousand coins, a slight drop off. I honestly think with the UCL cards coming out today, people are scared. People are a little bit scared of these cards supplying the same players. It's again, it's you're basically going to have if they release these cards like we talked about yesterday as the exact same rating as their gold with the exact same stats, you're going to have two different versions of an 83 Dembele, two different versions of an 88 rated Bruno Fernandez on the market. One gold, one UCL. So it's basically going to start to become like double supply. And a lot of people are worried that that's going to drop prices of those gold cards on this market. Now, I think there is a little bit of worry that is warranted. I think it's you should be a slight bit worried, but I think if we have drop-offs in price today on Tuesday with these cards coming into packs, I don't think they're gonna be massive drop-offs. Again, Tuesdays are usually days where the market is at its peak. If we take a look at the last couple weeks and we look at the weekly fluctuation of the market, the market is its lowest on Fridays and it rises through the weekend as people get their weekend league rewards, they upgrade their teams, and usually in that Sunday, Monday to Tuesday time frame, we're kind of reaching the peak before people get worried about Wednesday, division rivals rewards, marquee matchups coming on Thursdays, and the new promo that would come on Friday and they start selling some players off and stuff goes down in price. So we are kind of at that quote unquote peak point since prices even went down yesterday. And with the content that we have coming today, specifically if we do get more supply from UEFA marquee matchups and the Champions League cards, I honestly do expect to see another slight drop off on the market today on some of these cards. But I think it might even happen, like as I'm recording this video, early morning UK time, it's probably gonna happen throughout the day UK. I would expect it to be that there would be a slight drop off on some of these mid tier golds as people are getting worried about the supply from these packs and from the Champions League and from UEFA marquee matchups 
that could be coming today. So keep an eye out for that, but I don't think the price drops are gonna be that big. I really don't, I think they'll be pretty small unless EA does something insane today with the content. If the UCL cards come out today and they have a higher rating, than the gold cards actually do, which again, I really, really, really don't expect. But they did this in FIFA 19. They gave all of these, these Champions League cards a plus one overall. If they did that today, then I think you would see the gold card market drop off more uh, because people would go after these Champions League rare cards uh, as they come onto the market. So that'll be something to kind of keep a watch out for. Now, a couple other things. As we get into today on Tuesday, we have live cards that actually have games being played today. Now, one thing I'm kind of keeping a watch on is, and I'm sure some of you guys are watching this as well. Yes, we're going to have some supply today, but keep an eye on these on these Champions League road to the knockout items that actually have games being played today on Tuesday, right? Um, of course, we've got games like Inter and FC Sheriff. We've got, I believe, uh, Inter Milan and Tonali are going to be playing today. There, there's a nice slate of games, right? Leipzig, PSG, Atletico, Liverpool. By the way, if you have Atletico or Liverpool players that you've invested in uh, for the potential UEFA marquee matchups, I would 100% sell those in the hype because they are very invested in. A lot of people are thinking the same thing you are, that uh, Liverpool Atletico is going to be a game that is featured in that UEFA marquee matchups. So I would 100% sell in the hype on those. That's just my opinion. Uh, 100%. So one thing I'm interested to watch out for today is would somebody like Vidal actually rise up in price if they were able to win? Now, again, their game is happening today after the supposed supply would come out to the market from the UEFA marquee matchups. So that is a bit intriguing in its own right. And it's going to be something to keep an eye out on today and watch for is if these cards rise up um, because of a win, which I do think that once you see a goal scored, especially if it's a card like this Vidal or any player that is in the road to the knockouts, uh, that is maybe not favored to go through to the knockout rounds because of where they're sitting right now in their group. So specifically Tonali, Vidal, Mukiele. Now, of course, Mukiele is in the group of death, right? It's, it's not going to be easy for them to come back and, and to get up into a spot where they could get upgrades or this card could get upgraded. But specifically Vidal and Tonali, you might see those rise a little bit this morning. I'm really not looking for that much of a rise on any really part of the market today on Tuesday throughout the day until content. I'm just going to be maybe looking at some icons, maybe looking at a couple of these cards like Isak last night went from, uh, I think it was like 120, a little bit of weekend league reward supply early Monday morning, went to 124, rose to 147. That's a pretty solid rise. He was actually 133 about an hour ago, and he's right now up to 140 again. So we might have missed an opportunity to dip in on an ESOC if he were to rise back up. But I'm going to keep an eye on some of these cards this morning as we rise into the day and maybe see a little, wow, Goretzka, 124. Are you serious? He was 140 and he dropped. Wow, that's that's a car that's dropped off big time uh, right there with the the hype and the supply. And I guess the sell off a little bit from these 75 plus player picks being released. Um, so that's kind of the thing that I would watch out for today. Maybe some of those RTTK cards rise up a little bit today. But I think most of the market with what's expected to be coming content wise is probably going to continue to just slowly drop off. A little bit on this game now one thing i do want to talk about are icons the index icon is at an all-time high take a look at the daily graph it's been slowly going up as people get more and more coins you're seeing this market rise and some of these icons are at crazy crazy expensive prices and i've actually played into that a little bit with some of my uh flips recently i bought this del piero at 1.1 mil yesterday i bought this cheeky marquinhos at 718k sold at 767 just based off of rarity and i've been looking at a lot of icons man and it's kind of interesting to trade with these cards on the market because a lot of people have a lot of coins and they're upgrading to these icons which is very interesting to see and it's making some of these cards go crazy crazy high in price uh during the day during the night like all hours these guys are just continually rising and they specifically get rare at night like I'm, when i'm recording this video these cards are really rare. This mid SIE was 800K yesterday. And right now, this guy was just 920K. It's kind of coming back down. It's crazy how rare these icons are and how much people are willing to spend on them in this game just because they're so rare and the links they provide and just the, the iconic icons that they are, right? That's why these cards are just so hyped up at the moment is because they just provide something different. They're always good. They're always here, of course. 
and everybody's trying them out right now and everybody's using them. So that's why you see these prices where they're at right now. You might see the icon market dip off a little bit today. I would expect that. Now, again, that's kind of how I expect this whole market to be today. I would expect it with the supply from UEFA marquee matchups to be a little bit of a drop off with that supply. You know, some a few things here or there rising on this market. That's kind of what I'm expecting for today on Tuesday in this game. Now let's talk about a couple other things because there is a new card design, a new card design that has been released. It's not shown here in the game yet. Now, yesterday we had the FGS swaps. That was a new thing. Literally, this is irrelevant, right? You, be, you get these swap tokens from watching the pro events for 60 minutes at a time. You get a swap token and you can turn it in for one of these SBCs under the swaps section um, in the SBC tab. But it's, it's literally irrelevant because it's going to take you so long. It's going to take you weeks to get four swap tokens because there's not very many of those FGS events. They give out these tokens. Uh, it's going to take you a long time to get four tokens to get this 100k pack. So honestly, if, if I'm you, I'm not even gonna try for these. Unless you watch the pro events and you like watching that uh, scene on FIFA or if you just wanna leave the tab open, collect your uh, FGS token whenever those events are live, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but I, I really think that those are pretty irrelevant. But this card design was released. And since it's not actually showing in the game yet, as I just looked on the transfer, uh, on the transfer market, not the store, can I go back to the transfer market, please, EA Sports? Can I go back to the transfer market? <laughs> the menus are hating me right now. Anyways, if I look under quality, this FGS swaps showed up last night um, when it was kind of tweeted out and, and known that it was going to be in the game. We had this car design released tonight on Twitter. Footwatch retweeted this tweet right here. This looks to be the record breaker card design. Now, since it is not added to the game or I can't see it yet, I don't know if it's been added in and then pulled away or not. I'm expecting to see this on Wednesday unless EA Sports has some other plans. But this is the record breaker card design is what it seems. And hopefully it looks like they're going to be adding in some sort of record breaker into team of the week this week. That would be a pretty cool card to see on this game. So that is a very, very, I think that's one of the best card designs of FIFA 22 so far. I'm going to be completely honest with you. That card looks absolutely sick so i'm excited to see who gets this record breaker item this week there's a lot of potentials out there for who it could be so we'll have to see who does get it so that was a very interesting thing that happened in the past couple of hours and then also yesterday ea with the most random tweet ever uh, I guess evidently on the when they first released this fakir card they didn't upgrade the dribbling stats at all and what they did was Today, they adjusted the Fakir card and they boosted his stats. So when I first read this tweet, I was like, are they about to make Fakir's dribbling lower? It was actually the opposite. They boosted all of Fakir's dribbling stats by two. The face stat didn't change, I don't believe, but all the agility balance and I think the dribbling stat itself got plus two. Uh, so that was like really random, I guess nice, but also just really random in the fact that I don't think anybody expected that. I really don't think anybody expected that. So if you have a Fakir, you just got a couple extra dribbling stats. So GG's uh, on that one. So I, again, expect a record breaker card to probably come out on uh, Wednesday with the team of the week somehow intertwined and used there. That would be my opinion for those. So again, I just want to also do a little bit of an update on how I've been trading. I know it's tough to trade when the market is high like this. I've been finding cards that are rare, right? Again, the icons that I'm trading with, the cards you saw on my transfer list, like the Marquinhos, uh, like the Del Piero, it's icons and it's just stuff that is rare, right? I flipped the Hyunmin Sun a couple nights ago. That Marquinhos is just a fantastic card to trade. And some of these road to the knockout items are really, really rare. So I've been kind of looking at these cards, you know, just kind of playing on the fluctuations and on the swings as people try these cards out in the game. Like this Dan Juma is one that I'm kind of interested in right now. He He's up. This guy was just 63K about an hour ago, it looks like, as we're rising into the morning hours. I don't know if this is any investing involved here, if people think that this card's gonna rise up. Um, he was 62K, Ooh, 62K, boom. All right, I'll snag one, there we go. He's already 67. He was 62K earlier this this uh, this morning. So see this card come back down after he rose last night uh, into the daytime, during, uh, a couple hours before content, I think he went from like 59K to 70K. I think this card is at the top of the Footbin popular page. So I, I'm just keeping an eye on some of this stuff. Ooh, 58. 
yeah, I'm not going to get that. That's that's a little bit too low. Um, but, you know, you see a couple of these pop up. I might see if, if an Isak or if a Dan Juma, if, if we have potential, or maybe even a Vidal or a Tonali. Again, with those players that have the actual UCL games today, maybe seeing if any of these cards rise up just based off of hype into the day today on Tuesday. But other than that, I would honestly expect to see some of these gold cards probably tail off in price just a little bit because I think people are going to be worried about what's going to be happening on this market today with that pack supply from UEFA marquee matchups and the blue Champions League cards being on this game. So that's kind of what I'm thinking around the market at this point. And uh, I think that's what's going to happen today on Tuesday, right? We're going to be covering it all live on Twitch, of course. Link down below in the description if you want to be involved there. But it should be an interesting Tuesday to see where the market does move. Again, I don't think the price drops are going to be that massive. I think there might be some drops in there. And I see a lot, a higher percentage chance of a drop than a rise on most cards on this game. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.